focus to what's happening now in the state of Gujarat, or in fact, what happened uh, 12 years ago. It's time to look back at the events in Gujarat that shook the entire nation, like we said 12 years ago. Now, two people who symbolized the pain and confusion of those days have come together for a very special message. On one side of your screen, you can see Kutubuddin Ansari, whose frightened face became embellished emblematic of the horror of Gujarat in 2002. On the other side, you can see Ashok Parmar, a former Bajarangdal activist who stands accused even today of arson targeting Muslim households. मैं उन लोगों से संपर्क में रहा और उन लोगों के बीच में ही मैंने अपने आप को खड़ा वापस करा। मेरे को वापस खड़ा करने के अंदर वो लोगों का बहुत योगदान है। सेकुलरिज्म और कम्युनलिज्म के मुद्दों को लेकर के सूरमा बने हुए थे, उनकी हवा निकल रही है। निश्चित तौर से जो बहुत दिनों तक जिस तरह से एक्सप तो मैं मानता हूँ कि उससे जो है चिंता कांग्रेस को और लोगों को जरूर हुई होगी जो अब तक जो है वो गुजरात दंगों का विलाप करते रहते हैं। Mohan Ansari shared the dais, but not in the state of Gujarat. The stage was Kannur in the heart of Kerala. The occasion was the release of Ansari's autobiography at a function organized by the state CPM. In his book, Ansari has reportedly written how many Hindus had apologized to him for the events in 2002. And Ashok Parmar has blamed the local leaders of both the Bajrang Dal and the ruling administration for misleading angry youth at the time of the riots while apologizing for his acts. Well, let's go across to my colleague, Harish Jala. Harish, this does make for a very interesting piece of news where we see both of these men come together. But today, the BJP extremely crying foul of this particular function being called in by the CPM in Kerala. Well, uh, the BJP has right to cry foul for a very simple reason. Uh, bringing this to icon on a dais itself sends a very strong message of communal harmony. Whereas, see, when uh, the Parmar was been face of a horror, he was, he was with uh, rods in 2002 on the roads. And whereas Kutbuddin, with the folded head, was praying for his life, for his family's life. Now, these two uh, uh, extreme sides of 2002 riots coming on one dais and saying sorry to each other, that sends a strong signals of communal harmony, which no one can digest who believes in uh, disturbing the communal harmony, and specifically who wants to divide the society on communal lines. The question here is why this function was not organized in Gujarat. If the left really wanted to release uh, Ansari's autobiography, why not Ahmedabad? Why Konnur was selected? Uh, that's a big question which uh, left needs to answer. If this uh, um, uh, function was organized in Ahmedabad and where these two had shared dias, where uh, Parmar had given a flower to or a bouquet to Ansari, that message was, would have been completely different uh, than what the message has gone from the Kunur. Right, we leave it at that now though, Harish. Thanks very much for joining us. We got inputs.